Welcome back, all new at 10. An upstate mom has been waiting two years to find out who killed her daughter, Alex Liddy. Andrea Johnson says there has not been an update in her daughter's case for quite a while now. Now, Liddy was found dead in a bathtub here at the Hyde Apartments in Malden back in February of 2020. The coroner's office ruled her death a homicide, but the details about what actually led up to her death remain under investigation. Fox Carolina's Jarvis Robertson live from Malden with more from this heartbroken mother who just wants answers. Yeah, Cody and Tori, these two years have been completely devastating and shocking for Andrea Johnson. As of right now, no answers, and she's desperately wanting them. Faith is probably what keeps me going. Two years and still no answer to who killed Alex Liddy. Her mother, Andrea Johnson, tells me Alex had an epic personality, one that liked to make others laugh, pull pranks, and spread joy. She was always looking to make things better for people, and... Um, her generosity was just, it, it's just so sad that she's gone. But these two years have been hard. This heartbroken mother of six says one of her daughters overdosed on Alex's birthday in 2020 and another took her own life on the death anniversary last year. I mean, I wanted to just never get out of bed again, but, um, you know, that's not fair to them and, uh, they wouldn't want that for me. As this case sits with not many answers coming to light, the grief remains. Johnson is hoping the story encourages someone to tell police what they saw or heard that could help solve the case. I'm not really receiving any contact with, the, you know, uh, Malden PD at this point. We reached out to Malden Police Department for an update on their investigation. We are waiting to hear back as Johnson continues to search for the answers and hopes one day justice will prevail. She can't help but wonder why someone would want to hurt the one that meant the world to her. I'm just really pleading with anyone to come forward um, with any information because it I don't want another family to ever have to get a call like that. Now, losing three daughters in two years, that is certainly a, a tough pill to swallow. Now, during my time with Johnson, she told me that SLED was requested by the Greenville County Coroner's Office to take over that investigation. I did reach out to the coroner's office to find out if that was the case. They did tell me tonight that they had requested a meeting with SLED to do just that. However, it happened around the time coronavirus caused a lot of things to be uprooted here in the States. We're live in Malden tonight. I'm Jarvis Robertson, Fox Carolina. The 10 o'clock news.